Hello everyone and welcome back to This is the Police. We're on day 161, so we're getting real close. We have less than 20 days left. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably just gonna sit here and finish the game in one sitting. Uh, Freeberg Tribune says, trying to keep warm, man accidentally set himself on fire. And the Golden Bird says, mini earthquake strikes city. The fact, Freeberg's number one paper. Famous magician Lorenzo Trentino visits Freeberg. Fuck yeah, we need that. We need some good news in Freeberg. Lortho. The cat baked some cream and had diarrhea all night. If they're better now, then no. Yes. Fucking alcoholics. Okay, start the day. It wasn't as bad. People are not calling out as frequently now. And everybody seems to have mostly recovered from the shit. Oh my gosh, already? Okay. Uh, the controversial artist Dave Bogdana Bogdanovich got himself drunk and is now staggering down the street naked and carrying a revolver. Okay. You guys can go out. Um, after Bob Farber's wife left, he always works double shifts and never takes breaks. Uh, Bob Farber hurries to the beach every day after work, hoping to track down the man who stole his wife. Uh... Um, the manager gave one of the laborers a hard time for being late. The man became furious, grabbed a captive belt pistol, and started chasing the manager around the slaughterhouse. Okay. Why don't we all just calm down? Mr. Boyd, I own a garage here in town. I'd rather not mention the name. The situation is this. One of my clients badly needs a very large amount of high-octane motor fuel, but this gentleman is wanted by the law, and you can't just fill up a whole tanker at a local gas station. I know the police fleet uses the right kind of fuel. I'd like to exchange your supply for an alternative we can give you. It'll suit your cars just fine, you won't have any problems, and probably won't even notice the difference. And of course, I'll pay you. Don't- do, do you agree? No, fuck off. All right, good job, everybody. Why? How? What? Fuck. Okay. Wrong place. Okay. Then we'll just wait for them to come back. A group of slender girls were giggling as they watched a fat middle-aged lady performing pirouettes. She broke down and attacked the foolish girls. The dance studio owner sounded terrified on the phone. I'm afraid she'll break all the mirrors! Well, we wouldn't want that. Whoa! Percy's not at the end! Jack, the sewers are overflowing in several places. We lost our handle on the problem and we're literally drowning in shit. So far, we've managed to isolate the problem to the ghetto, but the pressure in the pipes is building up. Unless you send some men to help with the repairs, the o an ocean of shit will flood Freeburg. This is going to be dirty work, and your men aren't going to like it. But the mayor's office gave us a small fund to cover emergencies. Uh, you can give them a bonus if you need. The city needs its heroes. This sounds like my four newest guys. Uh, two men with baseball bats came to the arcade room and began smashing on the machines. Gambling is Satan's game, roared the men. The cashier thought he saw a revolver in one of the man's belts. Um, Platonic, you and Percy can go handle that. And now that my two officers are back, they can go out to that. Oh, reinforcements. Sure. Send Darius and Bailey. A passerby notices a suspicious black man walking around near an expensive car. Hurry up before the bastard steals the thing. This is gonna be a false alarm. But we'll send, uh, you two out. Uh, 
11 in progress. Chief, we didn't study at the academy to end up poking around and shit. Next time somebody else can save the world. I'm gonna go wash up. I stink from head to toe. Thousand dollars. Oh, well, this is unfortunate. Oh, uh, shit. An elderly male couple start, are complaining about the kids in their neighborhood. It's the fourth time this month they've written the word faggots on a garage. We know it's only kids, but how many more times do we have to paint over it? I actually don't have anybody. I'm very sorry. Ah! Guys, how? Alright! Hell yeah! That one is full. Let's load this one up. The suspicious black man appears to be Mr. Kelly, owner of the car, who is waiting for his wife. Good job, guys! Witnesses complain of a suspicious man in a hoodie who regularly hangs out at the park. He appears at night, always in the same place, and sells drugs to passerby. His customers look as suspicious as a cell. Let's send uh, Mark, Mark Plyer and Pogdana out, because they actually haven't gone on, like, a real, a real call today. The local high school is enjoying a recent crime spree. Someone needs to go down there and give a talk about drugs and the dangerous hard life of a criminal. Don't keep the children waiting. Uh, Chin and Everett can go to that. Got some new frames. Okay. Um, none of these are going to be right because two women do it. Oh, okay. That's great. Uh, convoy of the Bishop's White Chiefs is decided at a gas station. That's not going to be it. Um, the bishop works hard for the good of the church and the community. Uh, the entire floor of the Main City Skyscraper is set aside for the bishop's luxury apartments. It's probably gonna be this. Alright, so open investigation. Alright, so this exploded. Um, they... Put the head on the thing, and then they started smoking it. But we still need more frames for that. Wait, shit, who's- okay, Bowling is our lead on this. So Bowling needs to come into work tomorrow if we don't get him. Really? Okay. Uh, bowling, I need you to come into work tomorrow. Alright, day 162, the Freeburg Tribune. Passenger aircraft suffers engine failure, but pilot lands safety. That's good! The Golden Bird hearing Mayor Rogers pocketed so snow machine money. Uh, and the fact Freeburg's number one paper. Indian Festival of Colors in the Suburbs. Why does City Hall still dislike me? I did all the municipal assignments yesterday. <sighs> yes, because you're also drunk. The day of my daughter's wedding? Yeah, go ahead. Um, no, Sterling. We have stripes to award. Who do we want to give a stripe to? Somebody was lined up for one. We're 
gonna give one to bowling because she's about to catch the bishop you know what we have so much money to spare let's actually buy some new CDs all right let's buy a CD yeah all right listen to these Bob Farber turned out to be a member of the game no gang known as the Snow Warriors he could help you take down the gang all right no start to investigate mole you're gonna be our lead on this one a man in a raincoat and a mask entered the school, unsheathed a sword, and started killing anybody who got in his way. The police were called by the headmaster, who's barricaded himself in his office. There's a real nutcase on the loose. I saw him cut down two boys and the PE teacher who tried to stop him. Okay. Sweet. Alright, who needs it most? Uh, Ship B needs it. Alright, and who needs this one? Uh, shift B again. Fuck yeah. Uh, Mr. Norris reported an explosion on the street. I was making a sandwich in the kitchen and I heard a deafening roar. Must have thrown shrapnel everywhere. There's bound to be a lot of injured people. I don't really agree, but okay. The everyday store is doing one of their bring your own cup promotions. These things typically end in brawl, so you'll need to send extra police officers for security. Alright, hang on. Uh, not the gas station. Let's go there. To the luxury apartments. And just like that, all of my cops are busy. Okay, uh, Marjorie Lump is a member of a racist gang and unemployed. Uh, she tried to get a job as a shop assistant at the Robert Crane store, but didn't make the cut. Angela Peterson is a dark-skinned art school student who's a, who dreamed of becoming a fashion designer. She always wore sunglasses. The victim suffered serious bruising on her stomach, possibly from a fist or a knee. Death was caused by suffocation, but there was no bruising around the victim's neck. The camera outside the Robert Crane store recorded Angela Peterson exiting the store. As she passed an alley, a woman dragged her in by force. Some broken glass, a piece of brick, a torn and a torn garbage bag were found next to the victim's body. Okay. Bomb threat. Okay. A man called to say he was sabotaging one of the elevators in the skyscraper. Get ready for some fireworks. I'm going to send those rich scumbags shooting straight up into the air. Then the man hung up. Okay. Good job, guys. Great. Now, can you guys get back within 20 seconds? There was no explosion, it was just the man's neighbor, Mr. Schwartz, who dropped a power drill on his roof. Really? Okay. Hey right, guys, hurry up. Hurry up, you can do it. Four, there we go. We'll send SWAT to this too. Uh, a young widow interrupted church services with some scandalous remarks. Where was your god when my husband was stabbed in the doorway of our home for a couple of bucks? Where was he then? The priest called the police and asked the woman be taken away. She's upsetting the other parishioners. Station. Really, we're gonna catch the bishop at a gas station, but not his home or the church. Guys. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> Offender caught. Hell yeah, guys. 
417 in progress. Eliminate the gang. You destroyed this gang. Hell yeah! This is a bad looking situation right here. Job, everybody. We found explosives, which we'll take to the police station. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. There was a fucking bomb threat. Okay. The, an elderly caretaker called the police line, begging for help. Every full moon, a werewolf visits the cemetery. It howls in the moon and tries to eat me. It's here again today. Hurry. No. An elderly music teacher complains that she's been getting threatening phone calls at night. It's a hoarse voice saying they'll break all my fingers until lest I retire. I think it must be one of my students. The full moon came out from behind the clouds, showing it was just a harmless animal, not a werewolf. Oh, moles actually lead on both of them. Whoops. Good job, guys! Alright. Okay, so... Do, um... We foregathered Don Red Raven costumes we inherited from our forefathers and smoked the magic powder we bought from the bishop. Did you know he's also a pagan? Kill him. Set his lifeless head on the machine. Um, we rent an apartment for the day. Every year a different one. Okay. Uh, something like a metal pipe with four... Pour the magic powder into the machine. Uh, and throw in a lit match. Um... We got dressed, assembled the machine, planted the head on top, and started to smoke. Everything was going according to plan, but the machine grabbed a sword and struck the machine. And it exploded. Okay. So they're all smoking. And then he put a sword in the machine. No. I'm missing one more frame for that. And I got three more frames for that. Okay. So she is walking down the street, and then this this one's gonna be her getting pulled into the alley. Need her in the stomach, suffocated her with a garbage bag. Alright, great. Great day. Alright, it is Christmas Eve. The Freeburg Tribune says performance art at Candy Factory. Artists defecated into vat of chocolate. That's disgusting. The Golden Bird truckers complain of high transport tax. And the fact Freeburg's number one paper. Wooden horse at Toy Store upgrades playground. That's great. And City Hall likes me again. And my kitten is asleep, so it's all good things. Wine Barker. Um, no. So tired? Yes, because you're old. Great. Do 
Due to a lack of federal subsidies, the city treasury can no longer afford expensive prosthetics. Disabled veterans who were not going to be receiving artificial limbs somehow learned of this and have joined with the local journalist to arrange a whole live news show. Whining on TV isn't going to grow anyone new legs. We need to teach people they'll get no special treatment just because they're disabled. If you need to grab someone's crutches and put their nose in the asphalt, then so be it. More fifteen in progress. Uh, a man in a Santa Claus suit, who was supposed to be a part of the evening show, drank a lot of alcohol and ran straight into the midst of festivities, then climbed up the giant tree and began to swing. The audience is shouting with the man to come down. The tree is about, about to fall right over on top of them. Send them out. About a hundred disabled veterans are rallying outside the veterans' home. They've invited journalists to the protest and are urging the authorities to reconsider their position. No. I'm not going to... I don't like to suppress any of them by force, but especially not veterans. I grew up, like, right off of a military base. I wasn't on the military base, but, like, there were so many fucking veterans where I grew up. I have so much fucking respect for them. While Anna Grubbs was walking her chihuahua, she noticed a couple uh, climb into the public fountain and begin pulling up each other's clothes. I wouldn't be surprised if they start having sex right there. The nerve, shouted the outraged Mrs. Goes. Uh, several armed animal rights activists have raided a pet store, demanding the immediate le release of all prisoners. Several visitors rushed to the exit, and in the confusion, someone fired a fleeing fired on a flee freeing young fleeing young man who promptly dropped dead. One of the frightened criminals shouted, "Oh God, I can't go to prison! Now, let's waste all the witnesses and get out of here. Fuck the damn dogs and cats." job, guys. Damn it. Why, why have you all decided to suck today? No, absolutely not. A five-year-old girl went missing during a family barbecue in the countryside. I looked away for a second and she was gone, choked the mother of the girl through tears. The hostages are on their knees, prepared for death, but the criminals are arguing and can't decide who will play executioner. Um... Uh, get in touch with the criminals and open negotiations. A suspect with a tattoo in his forehead is trying to open fire on the hostages, but the safety on his gun is refusing to cooperate. He's he's frantically trying to switch it off. Um, throw stun grenades and detain all suspects. Massive fight! Okay, we'll wait for that. Uh, during a Christmas marathon, the Santa Claus fight broke out involving a stabbing and about four dozen men in Santa suits. Okay. Percy's really getting some man points! Look at him! 135 man points! I'm fucking proud of him. A girl just decided to play hide and seek in this, and all this time was hiding under a tarp in the back of her father's pickup truck. Oh, this is. Um. You will know the political preferences of the candidates for positions in your department. Um. Yes. Because I got plenty of money, why not? I was trying to raise 10 one, sorry. Shit, to pop okay. Um. Alright, gotta wait on that. I need some more guys. No. I don't have the men. I just. I just set men out. 
Uh, eight armed men dressed as superheroes burst into the bank and demanded their bags be filled with cash. Two guards drew their service weapon and opened fire on the robbers, killing one and wounding two others. Both guards were then killed, and one civilian has been wounded. Okay. Now just nobody do any more calls. Never mind, good job guys, get back soon. Uh, retiree Beth Fouch reports that a viking riding a unicorn is trampling the lilies in her flower bed. He's turning the whole front lawn into a muddy mess. Come over here and shoot the bastard. This doesn't sound real. However. Vanessa Gant was returning from a party at night and heard a woman's screams. She looked around the corner and saw two men tearing up a young woman's clothes. One of them then threw the victim to the threw the victim to the ground and pinned her neck with his leg, while the other one pulled off his off her pants. Okay. The woman had taken too much of her anxiety medication and begun to hallucinate. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's not right. Um... Why is there a Grim Reaper? No. Okay. I didn't get anything new for that. Alright, she did not get hit in the face. She may have been pulled into the alley. Perfect. Mole's not here, so we'll do that tomorrow. What the fuck ever. Good job, everybody! All of you are awesome. Civilians in harm, though. At least you stopped it. In the day. Ooh, we got some story. He's here. Well, what are you waiting for? Jack, do you know how I managed to stay mayor for so long? Oh yeah, I know. Is that what you wanted to talk about? <laughs> no, no. No, no, Jack, it's not that. I've stayed in my position because at the very beginning of my career, I learned an important rule. If someone, anyone, friend or enemy, if they want something bad enough, you can hook them with it. I know just what you mean. What does Jack Boyd want? A good pension? Doubtful. <laughs> Half a million dollars. I think that whole nonsense is a myth. The others might think that you just want a paltry sum of money and, and you'll walk away. I think... No. I'm sure of it. You want what you've always wanted. To remain the chief of police. And only I can give that to you. I don't believe you. You are to lead a special operation against Chaffee. I want your team to come down like a hammer on his stinking restaurant. I want you to personally be there and stand in front of the cameras. And I want this fairy shot 
during his arrest. A dozen bullets, at least. I want to see his mutilated body all over the airwaves. I expect a perfectly planned operation. And if you keep me happy, you'll keep your job for another year and a half. Fuck yourself. <clears throat> uh, I think... I think we have an agreement. No. Not a year and a half, Mr. Rogers. For the rest of my life. <clears throat> you think you can dictate terms, Jack? Sure as yeah. fuck can. Because if someone wants something bad enough, you can hook them with it. I think we have an agreement. Yeah, no, I'm still going to support Chaffee.